Alrighty guys, it's time for Act 9, Part 9 of our playthrough. So let's go ahead and get started. That's We're going to actually to uh, exit on the top here. We actually started off over here. I'm going to talk to Tetsuni if we want to, but we're going to go all the way to the top and exit. So the next two acts will actually be really fast. There's not too much content in the final two acts. And we're going to keep on leveling up this cold. Added cold damage is going to level up like instantly a bunch of times. But you can see, do you even see the slower projectiles? Don't see them. I don't really see them. And this is going to start scaling really, really fast. And that's why I love playing bow earlier on, is because you have so much flexibility with, like, when we're getting elemental damage, it doesn't matter if the item rolls cold, fire, lightning, it's like so generous. And even if it rolls physical, we can scale 50% of that literally for free. Because you can run ice shot, which converts 50%. It might be actually 60 on ice shot. But, um, yeah, it's great. You can also run Ice Bite if you want to. It's kind of up to you. Ice Bite gives you uh, flat numbers, while the other one will give you better, like, scaling if you have other numbers. We are good to go. And now what we should try to look into is getting extra spell suppression. We want that capped out. It's a really good armor called uh, Hiri's, and I think it's called Hiri's Demise. It might be pretty cheap. I'll double check on the price when the time comes. We have currently four more Chaos Orbs to spend. Ideally, we start rolling crit relatively soon, because we can only get so far, in my opinion, with no crit. <laughs> I believe crit, I mean, if you look at the leaderboards, crit is almost always on it. But you don't have to scale crit. I just I think it's the best. Most people I think that you can argue crit is better, but you need to be like a little bit higher level. You kind of need some more money. Um, it, the reason why is because crit multiplier, which is what gives you extra damage. So we're gonna go from the desert over here to the hills. Actually, is there a? Ooh, I think there's a. I think we want to get the storm blade uh, over here. So we actually need to get, we need to get to the storm blade. So if you didn't get the storm blade, it's fine. We still need, know where to go. It should be around here. Oh, it's right here. But it's it, don't worry. It's not like super super expensive to run crate. It's like it's just better. But there's other rings that we can get. Um, that can be pretty good. That apply what's called elemental weakness on hit. And that gives the enemies negative resistances. So once you get the storm blade, that's all you needed. We're good. We can leave this area. I don't even think we need the waypoint here. You know, once we get the storm blade, I'm pretty sure we're good. We have it, but it doesn't really matter. Now we're in the foothills. And we're going to keep on going. We're going to be Queen of the Sands, and there's a Tunnel Trial. So there's two skill points here. This is an optional thing. I don't remember what he gives you. I don't even know where the boss is. He's right here. Here's Boulderback. Let's see what he gives us for a reward. Some of the rewards are just like, it's just like a random piece of armor. It's like, that's why I only tell you guys the important quest. Sometimes if it's right there, there are some like optional quests, like getting an extra Quicksilver Flask. That's 100% worth this. Now we're in the tunnel. So inside of the tunnel, there is a trial. So that will be the thing that we do in the tunnel. actually two different areas here and ooh, I kind of want to get the foothills waypoint but we'll, go, we'll have to go back later to the other path 
but it's kind of like whatever one you see first, that's the one that you know you, you try to just go for. All right, the quarry. Oh, we didn't get the, uh, the trial here. Actually, I'm pretty sure the quarry is, is the waypoint like right here. The, the quarry's waypoint is always like straightforward. Yeah, it's right here. So I'll grab that fast, real fast, so we can uh, have access to it later. So we'll go back to the tunnel because there's a trial of ascendancy in this area. And I want to find out where it's at. Okay, I got you, Deltoids. And where's the Trial of Ascendancy? It's in the tunnel, right? The tunnel trial, yep. It's more likely right over here. There it is. The Trial. One here. Oh, that was hitting pretty hard. Ooh. What the heck? Did they add way more like saw blades to this? Because I do not remember it having this many saw blades. Like that's an insane amount. That's all right. But we managed to get through it, no problem. An must bear there we go. The last blades. one is in the last act. Oh, in the left hand. Right. There Should we go. In the right. Actually, we can walk back. It's probably faster since I don't have the waypoint for the last area. And we need to get um, an item in this area. So we're going to actually look for the top exit. It might be this way. It's this way. Orb chance. Oh. Sometimes you gotta check every little sliver in terms of directions. Usually you'll find this area first. But again, it doesn't matter. There's the exit, there's the waypoint. A boiling wave. We're gonna go here and kill a chicken. A giant chicken. I love the damage. I love everything in this build. Like, I love playing bow. It's my favorite thing. I usually rotate in between playing. A bow build, I use a caster build, and then I also play uh, summoner. Summoner and bow tend to be the more popular, but I actually think caster is great too. The downside with casting though is it's a little bit slower. But the skill that I like to play, I like playing lightning on everything. Uh, the minions though, they're like, they're spread out in terms of like the uh, elements. Because they're like skelly mages. Now Absolution is lightning, so it's all good. It's because I like this armor called Impulsa that makes your clear speed like 10 times faster. And I play on almost every single build. We'll run something to get explode. So we're, we just want to get the Basilisk Acid, and then we're good to go. It's the only thing we need over here. Now we can return to Highgate and we talk to some of the NPCs because we got some quest rewards. Ah. I don't really care about that one. The passive respect See. points, it doesn't really matter. We got some skill points though to put in. Pop this if we want to change our uh, stat points later. I'm going to grab this one over here just for some extra life. So I uh, really want to get what's called spell suppression and uh, at this point in terms of <coughs> getting extra life, there are some life nodes up here and it's really not that bad to grab them. There's also a mana reservation efficiency which if we want to get um, is another option. There is another like 5% life node and sp spell suppression here. Going in this path is not bad at all either. This gives us elemental damage and increased effect of non-damaging ailments. These are all great to get. This is crit strike multi. These are all great to get. Um, I'm gonna path through here uh, so I can get the extra uh, life, gives you extra strength. That's actually pretty nice to get um, earlier on. We can actually start scaling crit um, once I get a better bow, we can get crit multi, we can get crit chance. Crit chance is like kind of optional, but crit multi is what you want to go for. But this is like, oh, by the way, 100% crit does not actually mean 100% crit. So to explain this, 100% would be 6.5% of 
100%, if we got this node right now, it would give us 6.5% crit. It's based off of your weapon. A perfect weapon. Uh, there are some... Technically, there, there might be some weapons that go like 10% crit, right? Then this would be a 10% crit. It's based off of the number that exists with one decimal place moved over, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, we'll get all of those. We'll get the extra accuracy. We can get, like... There's the extra t uh, accuracy and... Oh, we want the spell suppression one too. Then this one you get extra crit chance based on your spell suppression. We'll get all of those. Those are actually really great. But I didn't get lucky with my bow. If you got lucky with your bow, yeah, just get the spell suppression and then get the other one. I'm just going to get flat life because getting extra crit... And, oh, spell suppression is still good. But getting extra crit is not like my main priority right now because we don't do anything with crit. Um, there's actually another node that I, I really like to get once we get some ember shield on some of our pieces of gear. But ideally, you're looking to try to get um, around, for the bow, usually like 4k life is okay. Um, but because I actually scale up my evasion a little bit higher than most people, um, it's okay to be like 3.5k life about towards the end game. But we're like, we're like getting close, but right now, um, we can get some extra energy shield uh, when we kill it. I mean, this, this, this thing is kind of worthless to be honest, but like, it's, a, it's kind of a long path before we get to get good stuff so just as a heads up like extra decks it's okay this one actually we get we get five percent movement speed oh you know we're getting that <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll go up here i'll get that thing that thing is 100 percent worth and then I'll, I'll probably end up scaling uh, a path this way and then we're gonna, we're gonna get this extra five percent movement speed i'm taking all the movement speed well, not no only because it's good okay oh, take the bottle storm by the way for the rest mm -hmm. but um because it's actually like really good um for the league mechanic in particular, but I usually get it anyways. So once we're over here, we want to look for this area over here called Shrine of the Winds. There's a boss here, and we're gonna kill the boss. This boss is kind of annoying because it's a it's a multi-phase boss. You can see the boss right there, it ate like cloaks, but I don't believe you can actually damage them during this phase. That's why I don't like this boss. It's not like difficult. It's just there's a bunch of like AoE and it's like it's very cluttering on the screen. How do we get her? Or killed something else out of there she is. The hydrosphere out. Did enough damage already. Wow. Okay, she's gone. And then we get the feather. And then now we're gonna go and continue to the next area. So it's, it's this is another one of those quests where, like, if you see the other route first, you can go to. Usually that one's on the left. I want to say. Refinery is usually on like the upper right. So now we're gonna take uh we take something. From this quest. This boss can be very deadly though. So right before we go in we'll throw a portal. And this might be our first death. Might be our first death. The reason why is they hit very hard for shock. We have maxed out resistances, but. He doesn't care. Okay, so he, this is where the boss is. You can see the extra mark. So make a portal right there in case you die. He's not very friendly. So there's going to be a massive amount of shocks that happen. Doesn't this remove shock? Oh, uh, this removes shock. And we get immunity for 11 seconds with our flask. But if you touch any of the lightning, like, like the spots, you will take massive damage. But we also deal massive damage, so... 20% shock value. Okay. Throwing a giant orb. He's not too difficult other than like there's rocks that come down. It's just because he hits really hard because he shocks you. 
Now it doesn't matter if we get shocked because we're good. Now we get the powder and then we go to give it to Sin. So as far as this area goes, we're done with this. We can go back to town now. It's weird that I say like we could die here, but like we only took maybe like one hit. So we talked to all the people in town, get a skill point for killing the boss. That was the one on the left with the tornadoes that we get the skill point from. And then now we have to go <coughs> um, back to the desert here. And this was going to give us another skill point. And we're going to go and yeah. next one. We'll get that spell suppression. This is actually kind of nice because we're going to get 100% spell suppression. So now we take a, I think it's the bottle of storm on what the, the item name is, but we have, I think I'm pretty sure it's the bottle of storm. And then this over here can be opened because we have the bottle of storm. Oh, we're going to make sure we keep on leveling those up. Look at our damage. 24,000 right now with all the buffs up. Now we got more life flask. See if we. Oh, this is unidentified. Might have something good. Nope. What we're looking for is immunity to corrupted blood or immune to shock right now until we get our really awesome impulsa, which at this point we might be able to buy with just that one divine orb will get us that armor, but the armor will go down in price. And I don't want to buy something that's like super unattainable. Okay, so once we get to this area over here, the oasis, um, there's like a, a boss area that you. To this giant scorpion. It's, I'd say this boss is in the top five for like its looks. It's got like a person on its tail. Really cool looking. So you fight them for a little bit, they run away, they go into these little like circular like quicksand areas, and if you stand still, you'll start to sink. But you got you gotta wait for the other boss to to do its thing. So it attacks once, it moves. You can't just go straight towards the end, you gotta wait for it. Attacks you several times, but eh, we'll probably avoid every single attack. It's a chance to dodge, 80% chance. Or, I'm sorry, evade. Dodge is technically a different mechanic in the game. But you get the idea. We're not taking any damage. What we can also get for extra layer defenses is if you, like, you have no more health nodes to get, you can get what's called blind. I will get an item called Lion Ice Fall that will provide blind at a 20% chance, which is great. And it gives us, there's an extra crit and stuff. We're gonna convert all of these nodes. Um, so this is just hits, attack speed. I think it's, since it's right here, it makes a giant circle. We get like, we get these set of claw nodes. So it's a crit chance and crit multi, and then 100% increased crit chance. And then we can also get 100% uh, crit multiply against enemies that are full life. So your one shot potential is really, really great. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, or you can get crit strikes have cooling strike, which means once the target reaches 10% HP, it just dies, which is great too. And then this one with claw mastery, you can get the 1% uh, attack uh, attack damage, uh, leeches mana and life if you want to. I would rather, I think I'd rather put the two nodes into these two if I really am pushing for mana leech. Um, I mean, life leech 1% is actually like enough for the most part because you're just gonna kill everything super, super fast anyways. But if you really want to, that one's okay. Or you get the flat 10 life and five mana. That one's really good too. Another great thing is getting the frenzy charge and power charge on kill. If we, once we get, we're gonna have to get this thing called Lion Ice Fall, which we'll get. But yeah, let's, let's go continue on the boss. So now we get to actually kill the boss. Oh, we are melting this thing. Jeez, that damage was massive. This boss isn't really like super difficult to shoot and move. Just like most of the other bosses. And when it like, you'll see when she looks at you, she looks at you like backwards though. That's how she's oriented. So wherever she's looking, just don't go. Lots of quicksand though. I'm getting sucked by that quicksand, it's moving fast. Nah, that's almost dead anyways. Okay, we're done. Done with that quest. And now we get to we'll talk to Ursha. Oh, let's get the reward. Bam, and Can we be good. Account? So we got that quest completed. Now we get the extra 5% life. And so we got Queen of Sands, and bam, we are set up. 
So I guess we can talk to Sasuni. He wants to talk to us. And now we go back to the quarry. And we go talk to Sin. And we enter the belly of the beast. We got all the quests done for the skill points, all the trial ascendancies. And then this is the last thing we gotta do. This is, like I said, the last two acts, very, very short. After 70, we can finally use that helmet that we bought for one chaos orb, but I forgot to check the uh, level requirement. Now we have reached the rotting core. Oh, he wants to buy this item. Oh, oh, no, 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 no deaths, no deaths. He's in the middle of that, he wants, he wants to buy that item for uh, was it three hour by alchemies? Three orbs of alchemy. Almost died for it. Okay, cool. He came to us. Usually, whoever wants the item will come to the person. All right, there we go. <clears throat> I don't even need three orbs of alchemy really anymore. He, he needs it though, and it helps him out. So it's like it's kind of like a win-win. Sometimes I will uh, sell items for super super cheap. Like if it's like a five or ten chaos orb item. So I like to make people's day because sometimes, like you know, in the very beginning when I see an item that it's like super cheap, I get super excited and it makes my day. So sometimes I like to pay it forward, so to speak. Ooh, it's so laggy. What's going on? I wonder what happened. Maybe this, this monster's gonna drop something real good. I did drop nothing. Oh, a six socket item. When you want to pick those up, you get Jeweler's Orb. You're going to want hundreds and hundreds of Jeweler's Orbs later. If you want to get like a six socket and a six linked item, it's kind of what you need to do. If you want to craft it yourself, I, 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 I would really recommend just selling your currency and just get the thing that you want. It's much more consistent, but it's a lot less fun. So this boss is kind of nasty. Open up a portal if you want to like not die. When she does her scream like that, that's when you can die. I, I just popped a uh, heal through it though. Since I don't have my flask, if I want to prevent myself from dying, yeah, you could go do it like that and you can reopen another portal. This is no injury. It's just the scream that becomes really nasty. Does a scream again? We might die. We've got kind of close. Ooh, we good. Still zero deaths. Now we go back to the uh, core. And that's the only one I think that that's like the most dangerous. But you gotta fight these three bosses. It's kind of like the same bosses that you fought, but like they they got super powered up, or harder. But eventually we're gonna run no potion. Just like how I like to play this game. And don't worry. Your recovery will be basically just shooting. You can get more leech if you want to. Yeah, like we basically take most of the damage and it's going all, all the way back up. There's not anything too special with the Ligro. It's just the other one, uh, Dodri, like when she screams, it just becomes a little scary. Because she just like drains her HP pretty fast. S some monsters are a little bit harder to apply that like Hydra Sphere to because they're kind of fast. Like he's fast. Shav is the girl with the other book. I think you kill her a total of three times in the game. 
always come back. That was a big slam. Well, it's fine. We tanked it. We need to get some spell suppression. But normally, any like uh, ranger build, for the most part, dead eye, you're gonna have a lot less HP. Ooh, ooh. that's a little deadly. Oh, we got close to dying there. I'm not gonna lie. We're very close. Now we gotta fight all of them at once. But we're getting 30 life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We could get we could get more movement speed. Now, chaos damage doesn't matter. What is this giving us? It's giving us 20 decks and 5 move speed. For one point, I value 5% move speed because 5% movement the difference between 5% movement speed on boots, the price of a pair of boots is astronomical. <laughs> this boss is actually pretty easy though. Just don't stand on the red orbs. You'll be okay. Those little like red things are no, purple things fell on the ground. It's kind of like the Devil May Cry 2 like final boss, which is a bunch of just it's all the bosses combined into the Mega Sword. Those orbs are so huge though, but try not to get hit by them. They do damage. And then she has Shav's book ability. It's basically all the bosses like combined, so it does all their moves. Ooh, that's a lot of like AoE right there. Alright, we got it. Woo! A little dance. Okay, very important. Don't use a town portal right now. I did it one time when I played through. <laughs> because someone was like, what happens if you do open a portal? Don't do it. So you want to go to Lily and talk to her and sail the Orient. If you go back, you will have to do that entire thing all over again. But this is a very fast one. In fact, this one was so fast. I want to see what the rewards are for like Act uh, 9 on the... Uh... I kind of want to go back and do the... Uh, what is it called? The... The, the sanctum of mechanic just to see what we're getting but i'm sure that the rewards are like pretty good but i'm just gonna try to get the maps because we, once we get to maps um i mean i already know the rewards are like pretty decent for like leveling but we can do it now sell this and then we're gonna be starting the very final act and then once we're done with this we get to finally do the end game which is where like the fun kind of happens so to speak but anyways hope you guys enjoyed act nine part nine we're actually already set up even with the minus 30 resistance we're going to be able to hop right into the end game maps and we'll be a-okay but if you need to get any other resistances this quiver is pretty bad but um we will hopefully get some more currency what are we at for currency we got four chaos orbs okay that's not too bad uh with four chaos orbs we can get much better uh oh you know what since okay you know what we can still do what I want to do is actually go and show you guys uh, one really, really good set of armor that we can get. And we might be able to get it right now. I don't know if we can, but it's going to be so much better for survivability. It's called uh, Hiri. Right, you guys can't see it if I typed it right there. Uh, demise. Hiri's Demise. Where's search? Bam. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's the quiver. No, 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 no. It's not Demise. Ire, that's what it's called. Okay. Oh, it's it's kind of pricey. It's got 30% chance to suppress spell damage, which is massive, but the amount of evasion rating is just astronomically huge. And then you get basically a added cold damage just gem on it without even needing to like do anything. It, it's really nice at the very beginning. The item that I want to get though uh, is in Pulsa because it's they're the same price right now, which is crazy. This will go down in price. Both these will go down in price. Oh, this dropped to 45. Ooh, I would have paid my full divine, but like remember the divine orb that we got that was worth like 120 um, I mean, this is this is very realistic to get early on um, But yeah, this makes you completely I mean unaffected by shock The reason why it's so good is when you kill a shocked enemy 
it's just gonna have the enemy explode and you get the increased effective shock it's got great life it's just oh this is just it's so good what about a six link how much is a six link do we have any six links impulses for oh two divines which is, is kind of pricey but eventually we'll get it um or we'll just get a six link bow and it'll be way cheaper and then we just get a whatever impulsa until um the time comes but yes good stuff good stuff indeed but uh, yeah coming up to the f final act very very soon uh, and anyways, if you guys enjoyed part nine, act nine, drop a like, it really helps with the channel and I'll see you guys in the final part very soon. Take care. Peace.